Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today is going to be a very, very, very important video. Okay, and I want everybody to watch all the way through and listen all the way through and take on board what I say here, guys. Right, this is important. Okay, this is very important. This is coming from a guy who's played the game since City 23 first opened. The guy who was mayor of City 23 for a whole entire year. Don't believe me? Go and have a look in the City Hall history. I am there for a year. I've been there for a long time. I've been on this game since 2020. It's now 2024, guys, yes? So I say this with love and respect to everybody, right? But everybody needs to hear this, right? Mainly T3 players, mainly T3s, but everybody, okay? Are you ready, guys? Fight. Fight, fight, fight. Troops are meant to die. You need to change your mindset in this game, okay? Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about everything else, right? Just play the game. Enjoy the game for what it is, yeah? Don't get involved in dramas. Don't get sucked in to, oh, but I like that faction. I might want to be in that faction one day. Oh, I used to be in that faction. Fight, have fun. The game is all about killing, yeah? So even if you're friends with people in your faction, they should respect and appreciate the fact that you're fighting, and learn from your fights and they can tell you how to get better you can tell them how to get better yeah but the only way to truly enjoy the game and to appreciate the game for what it's built for and what you've spent your time your money your energy your passion into is by fighting by growing by actually utilizing what you put in place yes it's fun having 86 million troops it is it's awesome but you know what's even more fun killing them yeah Killing them and killing more other people's troops with your own troops, yeah? I always look at it as a win. As long as I kill more of their troops than they kill of mine permanently, yeah? I've won, yeah? That's how I look at it because that's how I enjoy the game, right? I like to win, but if I lose, yeah, I look for the reports. I figure out where I've gone wrong. I send to people who I knew are educated on the game and they can advise me, where did I go wrong? What can I do better? You know what I mean? Could I have used a different formation? Could I have used a different set of enforcers? Could I use different weapons? There's a lot what comes into this game, right? But the big thing is, guys, right? The big, big, big thing here, what everybody keeps missing, yeah? Is that you have to fight to be able to fight. You have to lose to learn. What's better than learning from your own mistake is learning from somebody else's. But there's no better experience and knowledge than lived experience lived experience on this game so getting in fighting is where you're going to learn and enjoy and unlock the true potential of this game guys yeah that is the true enjoyment of this game if you're sat there and you're worried about the biggest players on the game you're playing the game wrong you're playing the game wrong my friends i'm sorry but you're playing the game wrong because if you're small or you're nowhere near the biggest player in the game they're not a worry for you because you shouldn't be fighting them. You know what I mean? When they come around, you bubble up. There's a time to fight and there's a time not to fight, right? But we always give it our all and we always find a way around to fight, yeah? So even if the biggest faction on the whole entire game come into your, your city, right? There still might be a few members in that faction what you can raid and pick off and do this and do that. So you monitor them. You see when they're asleep. You see when they're awake. And then attack when you know it's the best time for you to attack. Yeah, move all your troops out if you haven't got loads of troops. Under you know, set a safe house, your underboss. Move troops out. Reinforce people. There's many ways to fight. Yeah, you don't have to just be you're attacking their turf, right? You can raid. You can station other faction members, right, and win big time. If you if you can if you know the person right who is going in to attack your faction member isn't as strong as you, right, or you'll know they're just sending in one type of troop because they keep doing it. Yeah. Put in a large quantity of troops to beat them, right? It's always better to go in with knowledge, right? It's always better to go in knowledge. But if you station your friend, right? And you use a crew size increaser, boost everything, because it goes from your stats if you station them, yeah? And you, you could win that fight for your friend, yeah? So you could win that fight for your friend, and you're still getting kills, you're still getting involved, even though you're not safe to have, let's say, your bubble down. You can still fight with your bubble up. You can safe house. You can recon, right? If you know someone's going in to attack your friend, even if your friend has more than enough troops to win that fight or that raid, still jump in, get involved, 
monitor even even if you don't want to get involved in that fight right you don't want to take the losses sure or it's going to be an instant loss for that that player right put in a couple t1s yeah or something like that so then you get to experience what happened in that report so you can learn what happened in that report so you can instantly learn go okay so he made mistakes here he didn't change his enforcers on his walls he didn't have his defenses built up or he, he needs to change his weapons there's loads of things right what you can learn from so you can learn from your friend's point of view who lost but you, do you know what you can also learn from you can also learn from how they attacked your friend what damage did they do to that to that count to that turf how many troops did they wipe out how many troops of theirs did they lose you know weigh the pros and cons see how they set themselves up yeah if you're not the biggest and the baddest learn from the biggest and baddest look at their reports look how they fight monitor them watch them yeah but never hyper focus on them always focus on your own gameplay but take bits and bats from everybody else and mold it into your own formation your own faction your like your own way of fighting and building on this game right because I see so many big players, so many big players have no kills. Not even 10 million kills. Yeah? And do you know why? This is this is the brutal answer. The why they don't have any kills and they're billions of influence. It's because they didn't fight when they were small, when they was T3. And now they lack the confidence and the skill set to fight people of their own level and league. Yeah, because when you're 2 billion, you're 3 billion, right? You're meant to be in the elite league, yeah? You're meant to be at the pinnacle of top of the game. You're meant to be up there, yeah? That's the Champions League, right? You're fighting the best of the best. But if you've got no kills and you've never done any killing, you might as well go fight some T3s because you're not going to win against T4s because you've never learned. The way of... The way the city builds, right, when I first started playing, you you never even thought about a secondary city. You never thought about leaving the city. You only was you was only ever scared of people coming into your city, right? Yeah, so take this in take this on board, guys, right? We used to be scared of people coming into our city. We was never scared of our city, yeah, or thinking about leaving our city. That was never a thought in our mind, right? We used to fight each other in our city. We used to have months and months and months of pure chaos of fighting yeah and i used to love being the underdog back in the day yeah i used to love being the underdog because you got more to learn more to prove and you didn't go from fighting one faction yeah you went from fighting three four factions at one time fighting a full city i, I remember going around fighting everybody in the whole entire city wiping everyone out as a one-man band you know you can't do that as much these days because the times have changed but when a city first starts yeah for the first six months or whatever until it opens for migration, yeah? Kill like mad. Learn as much as you can. Learn as much as you can, guys, because that is the most valuable time in the game because that's going to help carry you throughout the whole entire game. My opinion is, and my recommendation, don't take a break from the game if you can help it and only take small breaks, okay? You need to not miss out on the things what they bring out. If you miss a valuable crucial thing in this game like formation like new enforcers new strategies new things in the game new super weapons you can set yourself at a disadvantage because you won't understand what's going on in the game it's harder to catch up than it is to keep on top of it because a lot comes into this game all of the time all of the time every single day there's always bloody updates right it's hard for me to keep up yeah so you need to try your best to stay active, to stay engaged, to participate in every event. But most importantly, fight. Fight whilst you can, yeah? And fight in the early days. Fight in the early days. Fight your city. Learn. Grow. You know what I mean? Instead of shying away from it and thinking about, oh, well, I've just lost a couple hundred dollars worth of troops. It's going to take me a month to get back. No! Stop talking like that. Stop thinking like that, guys. It's a game. It is a game at the end of the day. It is pixels on a screen. Yeah? Follow the five Ps. Preparation prevents piss poor performance. Attack. Learn. Grow from it. Build from it. Get better every single attack. No good fighter starts as a good fighter. We start off horrible. Yeah? We lose fights. We make mistakes. I remember back in the day, I used to 
think that two big guys could just zero another big guy just by hitting them one after the other. It doesn't always work like that. It all depends on what they've got inside. It depends if they're online to reheal their troops. It depends what equipment set they're on. Yeah, and I will make more videos on fighting, and I've got videos already recorded and on the way for this. Yeah, I've got an account which I'm specially going to use for fighting to teach you guys how to do this and go around and have fun. Yeah, so there is a lot to come, guys, right? But it's also not my job to educate you and teach you guys everything because I can't. Literally, a lot of this game, I can guide you. In the right direction and show you what I do but you guys need to learn what you want to do and how it works for you because how it works for me might not be how it works for you okay everybody has a different equipment set everybody has different jewels everybody has different weapons everybody has different enforcers yeah everybody's built a little bit different to the next person that's what makes this game so fantastic but only you know how you're built so you have to make sure that you learn your strengths, your weaknesses, and work on it all, and protect yourself, and fight others, and have fun with the game. T3s are so cheap. If you're a T3 player, you have no excuse. Go out there and fight, fight, fight. Yeah? Start off with smaller people than you. Then work your way up to bigger and bigger people, if you're scared. Yeah? Start small, work your way up. Right? It's not being a bully if you're not hitting them all the time. But remember, guys, it is also a fighting game. So if you want to fight, you go and fight because it is a fighting game. There are city rules, certain cities will follow, but most cities have a kill event every single week. Okay, so take advantage of every single moment, right? Stay on your toes, learn techniques like moving troops in, moving troops out, never letting them get the upper hand. Always think a step ahead yeah always think a step ahead always check your reports after you hit always heal your troops up so then they don't ever get permanently lost in your hospital small things guys make a big difference on this game but trust me trust me if you don't start fighting you are wasting your time on the game and you'll never truly enjoy the excitement and the rush what you get your heart pounds yeah you're sweating, you're excited, the, the thrill of it, the, the adrenaline rush you get from fighting, guys, is crazy. And when you walk away from attacking a whole entire city and you've got a hundred plus million kills from like an hour's worth of hitting, you've lost 10 mil influence maximum. You feel like the man. You feel like you're on top of the world. Regardless of how big or how small you are, there's always somebody smaller than you. There's always somebody who's slacking, who doesn't have their right equipment on or the specialties or built up in defences, yeah? So there's always an opportunity for you guys to win. If your city's too big for you, move to another city, guys, yeah? There isn't any excuse on this game because you can move around, because you can attack people, because you can build troops, you can invest, you can, you can do all these things, yeah? The only person stopping you and limiting you is you. So this year, guys, make the most of your account, kill your troops, and kill a hell of a lot more of everybody else's guys, right? Because you guys, yeah, you guys are awesome. Yeah, and I love every single one of you guys for watching me, for supporting me, and taking your time, or wasting your time watching my time, yeah? But I hope that you guys gain something from watching me, and take it on board, because I've had enough of everybody always... Um, limiting themselves and saying that they can't fight blah 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 blah, and seeing people with no kills at all you really 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 need to get over your fear guys and just go for it just start hitting and have fun with it because it is a game it is a game guys and if you don't want to play the game why are you on the game guys and i'm saying this to be kind yeah sometimes you got to be cruel to be kind i just want you guys to understand that this is a great game but a lot of you are missing out on the main part of this game the main part of this game you know what i mean and you can go oh well i fight in glory of oak vale but that's about it because i don't lose any permanent troops there that's not fighting fighting is when you're face to face with your enemy and they can't run to their stronghold or do this or do that yeah when you're like in the same city as them and you're fighting like we used to back in the day yeah 
that that is the real fighting that is what we love in this game this is what energizes us this is what keeps us here years to come that's why there is still loads of old players because fighting is what made this game what this game is you know but there is a way for farmers yes farmers are part of the game and we can tell ourselves every single month that or oh, next month i'll be ready to fight or i'm doing this before i fight stop making excuses go and bloody fight because your investment center is always going to be investing even for me i'm 2.6 bill i'm still investing in something yeah no excuses go and get fighting because now is your time guys now is your time to go fight learn and i guarantee that you'll love it yeah once you start fighting and stuff send it in my discord right ask for tips and advice off people and stuff like that send me reports in game right make the most of it guys this game is amazing if you play it to its actual potential and meaning and being the grand mafia the grand mafia yeah start acting like the mafia start winning start dominating thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure to join the discord top well not top link in the description but link in the description and goodbye